Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to today's Planet Zoo video. Last video we started on the base of the aquarium and the underwater viewing area for the hippos and today we're going to be carrying on with the rest of the hippo enclosure and get the hippos in so then we can focus on the aquarium. So let's get started. Right then, so let's crack on with the hippo enclosure. So here I have used a null barrier. I've got a couple of hippos and I'm basically just starting to fill out the barrier with some rocks. I'm trying to use the null barrier more now rather than using the stock barriers because I just think that enclosures look better, more realistic, more custom when using things like uh, custom walls, barriers, rocks and stuff like that. And here I'm just trying to create a ramp for the water to go so that the hippos can walk straight in but importantly I need to keep a bit of ground around the edge so that the keeper can still walk around because if not then they're not going to be able to get to the back of the enclosure from the front and you can only have one door per enclosure so I want it there on the inside where the keeper's hut is most accessible. So here we go we've got the hippos in and now here I just want to check if they're either going to get in the water or if they're going to be able to walk all the way around. Now what I'm going to say here throughout this video is I have to wrestle this enclosure a lot. It takes me quite a while to get this enclosure to the right size. Uh, one hippo gets taken out, and then I need to make the hippo enclosure bigger, and there's not enough water, I need to make the barrier bigger, there needs more land and stuff like this. And as I'm adding scenery, I have to constantly expand <laughs> the enclosure a little bit because I keep taking up room. So there's a lot of trial and error in this build. So here I'm still just making sure there's enough land for people to get around from the front of the enclosure to the back. And again, just making a ramp for the hippos to easily access the water. Right, and then I carry on with the rest of the barrier using the same rocks. I do go over these again later on, sort of making them more varied and stuff like that. So it's not just all one height. And I realise that I still need a bit more space for the enclosure here because I put the rocks in, it actually eats into the land. And yeah, I can see there that the hippos can still get round, which is good. So I'm just expanding it a bit more and this is what I keep doing as I go on. I keep pushing it back and back and back. Right then, so let's take a look at the enclosure as it stands. Okay, so here's the enclosure as it is at the moment. It's quite large and I feel like I might have to make it a little bit bigger once we get the third hippo in. The third hippo was in, but then it got taken to the vets because it was uh, injured, I think. So yes, I think the enclosure still needs to be a bit bigger, but it's looking good so far. I'm quite happy with how things are coming along with the rocks and stuff. I think it looks quite nice. And uh, yes, we're definitely gonna have to build a viewing platform at the top of the enclosure so that people can still uh, look in. But yeah, so let's carry on with the enclosure. Let's get some stuff in here and at the top, hard shelter. And yeah, we'll catch up after the time lapse. Right then, so we're carrying on with the enclosure. And as I'm doing, just starting with the terrain, I'm starting to put a bit more soil in the grass. I've been looking at some enclosures and stuff and I realised that the grass in especially hippo enclosures is definitely not evergreen. <laughs> it's muddy, it's dirty. So putting the soil in with the grass kind of creates like a good um, transition between the two. Here I'm just fixing something with the uh, shelter. It told me that they couldn't get in uh, but then I realised it was just because there was another keeper inside. So. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, so putting the soil in with the grass creates like this good muddy texture that's uh, still kind of nice to look at, um, but a little bit more realistic. And yeah, as I said earlier, here I am just extending out the enclosure a bit more, getting some more land, putting some more water in because we now have all three hippos in the enclosure. Carrying on with the barrier, with the rocks. As I said, we do go over this again a little bit later on to make, give it more uh, variety. And then adding a wall at the back uh, to give separation where I want to have the viewing platform. I changed this into concrete so it matches the aquarium, but uh, I do feel like 
it's easier to build a platform uh, above these kind of uh, walls as opposed to it is above the rocks. I can make it sit a bit cleaner and just look a little bit nicer. So here I am now, just adding some variety to the rock formation. Kind of create this little cove. One thing that I'm going to have to go over maybe a little bit later on, just because I'm a bit concerned of the size of the enclosure and the amount of hippos that we have, is that they might not be near the underwater viewing room too much. So that might be something that we need to take a look at a little bit later on, maybe get some more hippos in or sort of redesign the back end of the enclosure so that most of the water is at the front near the underwater viewing part. And here again, just um, tidying up with some rocks around the edges. I actually have to remove some of these because it starts eating, really eating into the amount of land that the hippos have. Especially this one in the water. It <laughs> really chunks away a lot of, uh, yeah, you can see in the red there, the water. And now it's raining. I completely forgot that you could change the weather in the sandbox. <laughs> so up here, I decide that this is probably going to be the spot where I build the hard shelter. I was tempted to use one of the preset ones, but I actually just went ahead and made a quite a simple one using concrete walls and the wooden tiled roof. And I know it's wood with concrete, so that seems a little bit strange, but it, at a glance, I don't think it doesn't tell me like at a glance, I think it works, if <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, not that it looks metal, but it just seems to sit with the concrete quite well. So. Um, I'm going to have to think about uh, when I build the viewing platform, how it's going to work with this building. Maybe I push the building to one side slightly or keep it in the center and build the viewing platform over the top. Not quite sure yet, but we'll take a look at that in uh, the upcoming uh, episodes. Get some beds in there for them. And just get a slight trim going on around the edge. Cool, okay, so let's stop the time lapse and take a look at the enclosure. Here we are then. So the hippo enclosure is basically done as it stands. Uh, some errors there. That's fine. It's basically done as it stands. As I said, we may revisit this a little bit later down the line, but uh, for now, the hippos look pretty happy. And uh, I'm happy with the way it looks. They've got their hard shelter, they've got their plants and everything. So they're happy. Happy hippos means happy me. <laughs> um, and we've got one of them asleep at the moment, so great. So yeah, awesome. Right, in the next video, we're going to be carrying on with maybe decorating the hippo enclosure a little bit and carrying on with the aquarium. Uh, we've definitely got to finish this because this is nowhere near finished. <laughs> uh, I might rejig some of the paths and stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting started on this building. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, then please do give it a like and subscribe. Uh, we do two videos every single week, so you don't want to miss out on those. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all. Oh. Let me fix this. See you all in the next Planet Zoo build.